Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel and of course in our series where we take a look at the different uh, megahertz by megahertz spectrum of shortwave. Uh, we are of course are looking on this video at what is there between 26 and 27 megahertz. So of course we have the uh, 29 to 30 video, we have the 28 to 29 and 27 to 28. And now let's check out what's 26 to 27. What is there in there? Have you ever heard something in there? Well, here's the basics of this megahertz of spectrum. The bottom part of 26 megahertz, um, up to about 26, 200, 250, roughly, sometimes you might hear FM signals. And what are they? There are some studio to transmitter links from FM stations and TV stations in the United States that actually use these low powered transmitters in that range in FM. The thing is, is when propagation kicks up, when sporadic e skip or when there's higher solar activity, well, these, even though they're not very powerful, these transmitters actually do. Uh, start propagating like short wave. So on the bottom part of 26, there are less than there used to be before, but there are some of these signals that propagate and that should actually be checked out. Uh, one that has been often propagating is 26110 that I've heard a few times, but um, you know, every time the activity picks up, check it out. Like I said, there's not as many as there were in the past, but there's still some out there to check out. It's FM mode, but if you don't have FM on your radio, you can actually listen to them by just using AM mode and tuning away by 1 or 2 kilohertz. Usually you it's still distorted, but you, you're able to listen to what the program is all about. And the uh, general big chunk of this band, it's kind of a utility band where there could be all sorts of things uh, in there, including, you know, uh, CW markers and stuff like that. Over the years, I've seen that there were some signals that were on some of the utility lists. But honestly, I've never heard any utility stuff in that range. But I did hear one major thing other than FM. Uh, studio transmitter links in the bottom part of the 26 megahertz range and it's out-of-band uh, CB ears. There's a lot of out-of-band CB ears in this range in all sorts of modes. It could be upper lower sideband, it could be AM, I've heard some FM stuff uh, and so when the skip starts when you hear stuff on the CB band that comes from far away if you hear stuff on 27555 well, you can bet that this range is going to be full of signals also. So you can actually tune around. And I've heard signals from Europe. I've heard signals from South America, from the United States in here, and, of course, from Canada. So, um, of course, propagation is going to be there. As you see here, it's pretty quiet. But um, there's a um, when propagation picks up, when sporadic eek does kick in, you uh, start seeing activity here. And on the top part of this band, there's a small chunk that is actually the CB band. 26965 up to 27000, you have channel 1, 2, and 3 of CB. So 27, uh, 26965, 975, and 985 are channel 1, 2, and 3, and 26995 is a remote control channel so uh, there's remote control or radio control toys in there there could be uh, all sorts of things that are remote control and all sorts of little devices that uh, need radio waves to work and that are low powered and uh, often very cheap so uh, that's one channel for remote control out there so um, interesting band when propagation kicks up lots of out of band stuff uh, sometimes you can hear some local stuff into here also. It happens that there are some local CBRs, out of band CBRs that might actually be using this range. I've heard a few from Montreal from time to time, but uh, haven't heard any in a little while now. So check that out. 
kind of interesting what's in here and uh, you know what even if you don't hear anything try regularly try every day at some point when propagation kicks up you'll actually have a lot of stuff to listen to if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching our videos hope you enjoy those uh, megahertz by megahertz spectrum check